Keith Schell and SureDog.com. I'm here with Lance Gibson Jr. He makes his Bellator debut this Saturday against Dominic Jones at Bellator 232 from the Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino in Uncasville, Connecticut. Lance, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. How are you? I, I'm, I'm doing excellent. Uh, obviously, you say your name. You come from a long line. Your father... I would say he's a pioneer of the sport. Oh, yeah. Fighting before, I mean, when it was regulation, when John McCain was running around, exactly. trying to get it off, get off the uh, off the airways, yeah. and, and through the hard times. Yeah. You kind of get a completely different perspective than he had. You're here in sure. Uncasville, Connecticut, beautiful casino. Yeah. Uh, has he told you the stories about that? Like the. Uh, absolutely. So uh, he told me one story about his very first pro fight, which was in a Super Bowl. He, uh, the only opportunity was to fight against a guy that was super heavyweight so he jumped in the super heavyweight division he was completely undersized the guy was about peter matatui he was about six four two six yeah, I I, that's my guess but my dad was five nine about 202 at his heaviest and it was a 30 minute time limit and you know he went out there the guy was knocking everybody out my dad went out there and submitted him in the, early on in that 30 minute Round, you know, because back then there were there was one round and it was thirty minutes, so it's pretty nuts. So no matter what you do, your dad's not gonna give you credit. You can say, hey, you didn't fight, <laughs> you didn't fight a heavyweight for a half hour. You're fighting one fifty five pounders. We use some of those, some of those, uh, some of the things he did back then. We use them in our training for sure. So sometimes we do thirty minute rounds yeah. of sparring straight or thirty minute grappling rounds. So it's good to do. I, I, I saw an interview you recently did with my friend James Lynch. Oh yeah. Said, uh, You've been training since you were two years old. Is that yeah. something that you wanted to do? Is that something you kind of was pu pushed into doing? Or? You know, I I don't think I really had a choice at that time. <laughs> Th throughout my young years, obviously, growing up as a kid, it's like what I was doing at the time, he was still competing, so it was like I was just brought straight into it. Uh, when I was two was when I first started. When I was in my car seat, months old, I was going back and forth to AMC with my dad's training session. So, yeah, it was. <laughs> it's been kind of something I was born to do. Yeah. What about other sports? You did any other sports? Football, baseball, anything like that? It's always been oh, combat uh, sports. Absolutely, I've done pretty much every sport that there is. Like. Uh, I played soccer, I played basketball, I played football. I actually thought I was going to be a professional basketball or, okay. or football player, but that didn't pan out, so now I'm a professional MMA fighter, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I also wrestled as well throughout throughout high school and college. I mean, throughout high school as well. So. Yeah, combat sport. Now, yeah. if you, uh, you ever get burnt out? I mean, being, you, hear this thing, like, you see kids who wrestle their whole life, yeah. the time they get to high school, you know, their parents have been bringing them around the whole country. Oh, yeah. They get to high school, they feel sort of pressure, they get burnt out. Yeah. Do you ever feel, get, feel that when you come out, kind of like kind of sick of the sport, or the sick of wrestling, or the sick of jujitsu, yeah, anything. Maybe just get sick of it. You know, I've, I've gotten sick of wrestling for sure at one point because when I was I was first learning. So I, when I I guess I was in seventh grade when I first started, but I was just like. This isn't fun because I don't know what I'm doing. I know MMA, I know punches, and kicks, I, I know takedowns, but I don't. I didn't know any of the collegiate stuff on the ground. But uh, eventually, once I picked it up, I I got the groove and, and figured it out. But yeah, the burnout definitely happens. But it's just about your mentality and, and pushing through it, basically. Yeah. Uh, and you were obviously very successful. You were all American. Yeah. Um, let's talk about this matchup. You okay. have Dominic Jones. What do you know about him, and how do you feel that you match up against him? Uh, Dominic Jones, he's two and two. He's a great fighter. He's an overall well-rounded. He can strike, he can wrestle, he can pretty much do it all. Uh, he's a good fighter at the end of the day, but I believe in my abilities and my experience that I have over the entire years. My reaction time, everything I have is just going to be too much for any opponent that I face in the future and now. So, uh, yeah, I, I believe I can go in there and do whatever I want. Obviously, you've been waiting for, I mean, you fought amateurs, you fought as a pro, you're yeah. undefeated, but this is, the, now you're on the big stage. Yeah. You have, obviously, your name rings a bell, with, especially with fans who've been around for a long time, they know your father, obviously, they know your father's wife, you know, Judith Bud, she's a featherweight champion world, one of, the, yeah. one of the best female fighters of all time, one of the best female fighters today. Yeah. Are you feeling any pressure that, you know, everyone expecting such high things from you? You know... I always say this one this one quote that I've created myself, but it's uh, when you're at the stage, obviously there is pressure, but you don't have, there's no pressure at the end of the day because I, I, I don't feel pressure because at the end of the day, I just have everything to show. So there, there's no pressure. I just go in there and do what I know how to do since I was born. And 
it's as simple as that, you know? So I, I don't have anything to prove to anybody. It's just, I just gotta showcase what I got. Uh, you, you made some headlines when you were asked to compare yourself to a fighter. Yeah. You compared yourself to John Jones. Yeah. In my opinion, I believe John Jones is the greatest fighter of all time. Yeah. Obviously, that's a bold claim to see that we're gonna see some John Jones in you. Oh yeah. I'm not saying it's not gonna happen. Yeah. You got some big shoes to fill. Oh yeah. What gives you this confidence that you can already envision something like that? Like, what, why are you so confident? Uh, I watched John Jones since the beginning of his entire career. Uh, when he was on the, the prelims, like I'm gonna start out doing right now. And uh, I seen his abilities then, and I seen his style then, and I was probably, I don't know, 12 or 13 at the time, but I, I enjoyed watching style, and that's how I fought since then. So whenever I'd spar at 12, that was how I fought. So now to this day, I can, I've added, my dad, obviously, and Julia, we've all added way, a lot more uh, different techniques to my to my uh, style. And at the end, end of the day, you'll you'll definitely see a, a mixture of him, as well as me, myself, Lance Gibson Jr. So, have you ever, have you ever met John? No, I've never met John, but uh, I've met Will Fox, and he he's associated with John. But I, I would love to meet him one day. Now you're the 2.0 version, like upgraded, upgraded version. Right? <laughs> I wouldn't say upgraded. I would say different version okay. for sure. Right. Right. I'm my own version. I'm Lance Gibson Jr. Right. John, like style, so, stylistically. Right. So Bellator, they made. Headlines, uh, I think about a month or so ago. Yeah. AJ McKee and Antonio McKee, his father, fought on the same card. Yeah, that was awesome. Any chance you can talk your dad out of retirement <laughs> and we can get both you guys on the same card? You know, we <laughs> we were talking with Rich too yesterday and he's he mentioning all three of us should fight because that'll be the first son. Uh, wife and, and father uh, all on the same card. That'd be that'd be pretty crazy for sure. Uh, we'll, we'll see what How's we can. How does dad feel about that? It's been a he, long time. He's he's done fighting now. He's he's strictly done uh, focused on coaching. But uh, so no yeah, chance. that'd be awesome. No that chance. that would be well, awesome. But keep poking him. We got to keep poking him for sure. Uh, let's let's talk about Julia. Obviously, she's yep. a huge impact. Obviously, you see her. She's cornering you. You've been in her corner. Yeah. Um, obviously, you have this great. Fight family. She, I saw an interview. I was really impressed that you said that you don't want to be on a card with her because you want to completely focus on her. And I thought that was very uh, a humble statement, a very um, uh, selfless statement to say. So that said, she's going against Chris Cyborg. Yep. You know her better than pretty much anybody in the sport. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that matchup? And, and what should, what should we expect, uh, you know, from her in this in this fight? Uh, all I really can say is expect her to shock the world because a lot of people decide to count the four-time champion out, which <laughs> it makes no sense. She's a four-time champion. Chris Cyborg is not a champion right now. She's jumped into a division where she's facing the world's best, technically, and uh, on in the books, she's the world's best. She's got the four, she's a four-time champion. So she's stepping in. Julia is going to showcase what she's really capable of. She's just been on a roll, getting better and better. And uh, I train with her every day, all day, and I commit my every, my entire soul to her, uh, to her getting better. So at the end of the day, she's gonna go in there and she's gonna be awesome. Uh, give me the wrap, so I gotta wrap it up. But yeah. um, let me tell you what your prediction is, and also what is the fans gonna be saying about you come Sunday morning? Okay. So my prediction is, at the end of the fight, uh, the fight's gonna end in it, either a finish, it's gonna be a TKO, KO, or submission. Uh, you're gonna see an advanced level of martial arts, you're gonna see creativity. Uh, my action, before I'm a mixed martial artist, that, that last word is, is an artist, and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm capable of in the, in the cage, so. You guys are gonna be and what are the fans gonna be saying about you? They're gonna be, they're, <laughs> this this guy's gonna be one of the best for sure. That's what they're gonna notice. So. Thank you for your time. Good luck yeah. to you. Thank you.